Alright, now I just vent it. You see this bullshit? This is called hacking your computer. Now I, I took crime on the internet. And now they keep killing my pages. They keep doing all that. They just bought this. My husband supposedly bought this from Amazon. And it came in a friggin' not even an Amazon package box, but it came in a, a Federalux box. So meanwhile, they, because my geek squads, like, they like to rebuild computers and, and mess with my computers so they, they can steal everything they want off of it. They can do, you can read my hard drives, but guess what? I have copies of everything of the other computers that were, that, that broke. Because I make copies of it on my disk, and that's why I will carry my stuff around until I can put somebody in jail. So you go right ahead. Now, I just vent it. Big time. And I'm sure everybody heard it. Now, now my husband's going to threaten me that he's going to stop chat payment on my friggin' f on my, on my stupid ticket that I got. That they seem to want to give me once a year. Because I never had a friggin' record or tickets. Until I met my husband and got into this goddamn town. But let me tell you something. I'm going to let the whole world know. That... I trust no cop in this town right now. None. At least not the cops that actually came into my house. The ones that falsified a phone call. Marsh comes here knocking on my door. Are you okay? I heard you need some help. I never fucking called him. My husband just fucking came home from the store. And that other cop knows exactly what I'm talking about. His partner. You don't want to protect people and kids? You go right ahead. You do that. You keep falsifying them documents. You keep coming out and pretending to be a domestic violence fucking case. I want every domestic violence falsified document that you guys got. May 21st, 1995, you got a domestic violence case. You know what that was all about? Because I flipped out because some bitch was dancing in my freaking living room. When I was out shopping for my husband and I's anniversary. My first husband. So I don't want to say... I don't want even fucking want to hear about a domestic violence case. Because you don't know the whole friggin' stories. You don't know what happened. You don't know anything. So you can take those domestic violence falsified reports and you can shove them up your fucking ass. Especially the ones my mother had me go do. Because she was trying to ruin my fucking life. And she don't stop. And neither does my mother-in-law. She don't fucking stop either. And her asshole sisters. I wish I could take them all and beat that free fucking one of them fucking Bruce's bitches. And the freaking asshole brother. Who's in my fucking town. Causing me issues. Get the fuck out of my town, Gary Bruce. Well, I don't know what to watch. Well, I don't know what to watch. But you're not watching YouTube. I know. I don't want to watch YouTube. What the? We watch cartoons and stuff. Well, you're tired anyway. It's bedtime. It's past your bedtime. So you guys can rot in hell. I vented. I have another venting on here right before this. But I was freaking going off. Because you know what? Gonzalez knows exactly what happened in 2008 and these motherfucking bitches knew I wasn't gonna cheat on my husband and I wouldn't touch another goddamn man and as soon as I left here because Mark Hitchner called me down to his fucking house and then they paid him to get an eight, an eight ball to keep me away from that fucking house all night long come on babe come on baby come on come on you're a fucking liar and then when I get home, oh, I got to call the detective that I called. And then here comes it is, it was friggin' Detective Gonzalez. How convenient. He works with every, he works with the friggin' uh, brother at Edom Foods. So, any fault, anything that Gonzalez has, 
written down, anything that anything that Piper has written down, anything that Marsh has written down. Now I called out Marsh. I called Marsh out before I before I started drinking heavily, before I started doing drugs. I showed Marsh exactly what was going on in my house. So Marsh is either for me because Marsh and them knew me before I started doing anything, before I lost, had my nervous breakdown, before these people caused me a lot of fucking issues. I showed Marsh everything. I showed him the pictures. Any pictures you got is what they did to my house. 2007, I called the cops out here saying, what the hell's going on? Somebody's coming in my house and messing with my house. That's when I went to Dr. Hawkins. I went to Dr. Hawkins and saying something's going on. My husband's doing something to me. I guess everybody started paying. This is why we're doing this to her. Because we didn't want her to be raised by her. So we have to do this. Can you help me out? I need, I need your help. She's not doing nothing wrong. She's Miss per Perfect Mother. She was Miss Perfect Mother and a wife. I'm sorry, was I too good for you? Dumb bitch. I hope all you leases drop dead. I wish, I would, I would take a fuck, I would punch you all out. All of you leases. But guess what? I'm going to make sure somebody else does it for you, for me, and you go to hell. We're not doing, she's not doing nothing wrong. We got to do something so we can make sure we, we can justify why we stole her kid. Like I said on the other one, if you, you didn't want me to have kids, I guess, if you didn't want me to raise a kid, I guess you sh your son shouldn't have got me fucking pregnant now, huh? Caused me nothing but fucking problems. You caused my ex-husband nothing but problems. You caused probably Chucky nothing but problems. Anybody that came across you called problems. You go right ahead. But you're going to die. You're all going to rot in hell. You're done. You're done in this lifetime. And, we're gonna watch and all you bad cops, I'm going to let everyone, the whole world know about this cops in these towns. And what they've done to me. Because you know what? I'm going to make sure these children do not trust a goddamn cop in this town of Franklinville. These cops in this town, they play nice, nice to your face. But they'll take money. They'll take that money and then hurt the weak. Uh, we're gonna watch. Franklinville, New Jersey. Oh, we're they like to hurt the weak. Now, hopefully they ride by my house to make sure that I'm okay. I do see somebody, some of them when I leave to make sure that I'm okay, that I'm leaving my house. But I still don't trust them. They came out to my house. They falsified documents. They've done it all. So I can't trust any of them. I've, I've, I've proven, I've shown them the evidence. The evidence is all there. The kids had said it. They've got the evidence. But they're trying to turn it around on me. They've got it all. You know? Well... Whatever Jen's house is, you know what I mean? That makes me wonder what, uh, what exactly happened that night at the letter. Um, even though my teacher said he was there and he saw everything. But, hey, I don't know. I don't know the whole story. And I just hope and pray for the best. That's all I can do. And my words will be of God. And I will just keep praying. And somebody, somebody's got to tell the truth one way or another. One way or another. I didn't start drinking heavily until the end of 2007 because I just I couldn't do it no more. I was self-medicating. I went to Dr. Hawkins. I just didn't, could not, could not do things right. I could, obviously, the psychiatrists and psychologists or therapists, they all want to freaking lie and get paid to, to, to be assholes too. So y'all can be assholes together in prison, okay? Amen.
Thank you to my brothers, Christian brothers and sisters. Amen.